So, the Toronto Maple Leafs signed Matt Nyes today, and that is not what this video is about. I had this in the forefront of my mind, you know, just kind of festering there. I wanted to talk about this Toronto and Montreal game from last night because not only was there a really nice, heartwarming moment for a guy that really got to live the NHL dream, even if it was just for a minute, but... There was an oddly strange conversation that spewed up because of that that I kind of wanted to talk about here today. So, the Toronto Maple Leafs last night beat the Montreal Canadiens 7-1. to Big showcase of talent, big stomping of the Habs, and when it comes to the Maple Leafs, everybody kind of knows where they're at in their hockey lifespan. They are supposed to be in the midst of a playoff push, they should be trying to contend for at least the third round. This is a team that was built to succeed in the very short term, and they're going to need all the reps they can get because they haven't gotten past the first round in over a decade. This is why, when you take a look at what happened in last night's game, there were a few fans whose feathers were ruffled about how the Maple Leafs conducted themselves in this hockey game. For one, of course, the score is 7-1, to one, meaning that the Montreal Canadiens, especially towards the middle part and the ending parts of the game, didn't really have a chance at winning. And for the Maple Leafs, they had themselves two moments that stood out the most. When it was 6-1 in the third period, you had yourselves a power play, where the Maple Leafs ended up icing their main power play one lineup, and normally this would be seen as a pretty reasonable move, but a lot of fans were saying, hey, why are the Toronto Maple Leafs playing their first power play in a game where they're up 6-1? to one? Like, they don't have any reason to try to stat boost or put a little bit more up there on the score sheet. They're already winning this game. They've got no reason to ice their full first power play. Why not give some other guys a chance? This idea that was going around, which I'm not going to go out there and agree with, by the way. I'm just explaining that it happened. This was part one of the quote-unquote Toronto is disrespecting Montreal thing that came about because of this game. Part two happened later on in the game when it was 7-1, to one, and Ilya Samsonov, who had already been sort of battling something earlier in the game when he slid from post to post, ended up leaving the ice with about a minute left. This is where Jet Alexander, the ATO, the Amateur Tryout Emergency Backup goaltender from the University of Toronto, ended up making his NHL debut. He played for the last minute and a bit of the game. He didn't face any shots, so right now he has the NHL lead all-time in goals against average with zero, but he also has the worst save percentage of all time because he faced zero shots, so his number is zero. Now, it doesn't really matter what the numbers are. The fact is, this guy, a 23-year-old guy from Bloomfield, Ontario, a big dude, 6'5", 201, left-handed catching goaltender who had played in the U Sports League this year, he played in the NHL, and unlike the Colorado Avalanche stint where he was the backup or the emergency backup back then, last season, he actually gets to suit up and play. You saw the interview after, the guy was jolly, the guy was talking about how it just kind of went by in a blur, how he didn't really realize this would be a possibility, but it's awesome to see that experience because he will have that for the rest of his life. And then he said he has to study because he's got four more exams coming up. Unfortunate for the University of Toronto student, but either way, getting yourself printed in NHL record books is amazing, especially for people like Jet, who, for all intents and purposes, are just regular college students who happen to play hockey. He's got an NHL game under his belt, and that's cool. But you had a lot of Canadians fans, and Canadians specifically, going out there and talking about how this was a bad thing. This is the comment that sort of got this whole conversation started by Chris Weidman, of all people. Take a look at what the Canadians defenseman had to say about Jet Alexander playing in the game. They'll get what they deserve in a few weeks, Chris Weidman says. And of course, if you want to dissect what exactly that means, Weidman is essentially saying that the Maple Leafs will get what's coming to them because they are getting a little bit showboaty because this putting of the backup goaltender to play a game is disrespectful to Montreal because you're not respecting the fact that they're a team that is an NHL caliber team and you're playing a regular guy. Let's just say he's a regular guy. Chet Alexander is not an NHL goalie. He's a regular guy. You're playing a regular guy in an NHL game because you see so little out of your opponent. And because of that, they'll get what they deserve in a few weeks. 
Obviously, he's referring to the idea of the Maple Leafs getting eliminated in the first round, but this wasn't even the only thing that had brought itself up. You see, this statement from Weidman had a lot of fans sort of divided, but a lot of people went out there and said, come on, man, like, really, you can't be happy for the dude? You can't be happy for a backup goaltender, an emergency backup playing and actually having his moment? Like, this is not a full 60-minute game, this is one minute. Like, give the guy an opportunity to say that he was an NHL goalie for a bit. You then had yourselves Damian Cox, who replied and said, yeah, no, Chris Weidman is not wrong. That move doesn't show much respect for the game or the opponent. Neither does having your best guys out there for a power play when you're up 6-1. to one. Jeff Fayette replied to this tweet saying, If you told me there's actually one Toronto writer who agrees with Weidman without me seeing it, then I'd absolutely have gone Damo first overall. Jim Matheson, yeah, the Oilers guy, went out there and said this, Are you telling me a team can't give an emergency backup the thrill of a lifetime by coming into a nothing game with a team up by a touchdown? Lack of respect? Are you kidding? Then you had yourselves the response to the idea that the Maple Leafs shouldn't be icing their best guys for a power play, too. This is what Mike Matheson said, pretty much combating that idea, saying, Hey, I think you're a sore loser if you look at that and go, Oh, why are you putting out that unit? They're getting ready for the playoffs, and they want to give those guys as many touches as they can. I wish we could have given them a better fight and had them need to get out their first power play. And this is sort of the difference in mindset between Mike Matheson and Chris Weidman. Weidman's going out there and, I don't know, just kind of pointing fingers, citing the disrespect that Toronto has, and getting all old man yells at a cloud at this situation. Mike Matheson, on the other hand, is saying, no, like, I get it. They're a playoff caliber team. They want to get their team ready for the playoffs. It's on us to give them a fight and give them a reason to have to ice that first power play unit. But I think you're a sore loser if you don't go out there and see it for what it is. And so at the end of the day, Jet Alexander, backup goalie, NHL goalie, making his debut, not needing to make a save, but still having some ice time under his belt. That in and of itself is a cool story. And I think a lot of people should be going out there and feeling the joy from this type of thing. We see this happen once in a while, you know, the Scott Fosters, the David Ayers, and I guess I could say now the Jet Alexanders, there were a few others thrown in there too, but backup goaltenders of guys that are just regular old human beings like you and me, that are not some of the top pro athletes at this sport in the entire world, having their moment, yeah, I like it, I think it's pretty cool, I don't think it's really disrespectful in a way, and the idea of being disrespectful in the first place doesn't really make too much sense because it's like, okay, if you're gonna get pissed off about the Maple Leafs icing their best guys on a power play, how are you gonna get pissed off about the Maple Leafs putting in an emergency backup? Like, that's so contradictory, you're getting pissed off that they're playing their good guys in one instance, and you're getting pissed off that they're not playing their good guy in the other instance? It doesn't make any sense. If you're pissed off that the team play the full six-man or five-man power play unit when they're up six to one, then you shouldn't be upset that they're deciding to take out their starting goaltender and putting in an emergency backup. Plus, if you're pissed off that they're putting in an emergency backup, then you shouldn't be pissed off they're playing the best guys possible on a power play. It's completely contradictory. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire Jet Alexander thing. Let me know your thoughts about Chris Weidman's comments as well as Mike Matheson's comments too. And I guess if you wanted to talk about Matt Nye's signing today, I guess you could do that as well, but that's not really what this video was about anyway. Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.